What's up guys? This is Kurt Holmes with the Backcountry Hunters and Anglers Southeast chapter and I want to show you my decoy setup. So what I have here is I have a hen and a jake decoy and generally when I'm hunting filled edges I, I pretty much use this same setup 99% of the time. So what I'll do is I'll have um, arrange it in a way where the hen is being trailed by the jake and I basically want them to look like they've just stepped out of the woods. So I've got these decoys set uh, probably about 15 yards from my setup. And the way I'm arranged, so this would be my 12 o'clock, they're probably at about 9.30 or 10. Um, I'm right-handed, so this would be my field of shot. So as you can see, um, to my left is where I would not want a turkey to come from, but if they did, uh, he'd still, if he made it to the decoy, I could still get a shot on him. So I think that's something that people overlook is their decoy placement and placing it in a place where uh, you're not maximizing your shot opportunity. A uh, couple other quick tips is instead of a leafy suit, I just cut a little, I don't know, it's probably about a five foot section of just cheap camo netting that I get at Walmart. I roll this up and put it in my bag. Uh, it doesn't really weigh anything and I think it does a great job of breaking up my outline. If you really want to get fancy, you can go 3D and put some leaves on it, but this is super simple. Uh, you can use it as a backrest. Uh, it's, it's really, really effective. It's cheap and, um, you know, I think it works. It does a really good job of breaking up my outline. So hopefully you guys can get some benefit out of this. Um, good luck hunting. See you around.